Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and welcome to another episode in James DIY Garage. If this is your first time watching, welcome to James DIY Garage. I'm James and this is my 2014 Maserati Ghibli SQ4. It has 85,000 miles on it and I've enjoyed every mile of it. When I bought it in 2017, it had 53,000 miles on it. So I'd put over 30,000 miles on it. Today's video is going to be another short video. Uh, what is this for? And in this video, I'm going to be going over parts of the uh, vacuum system. And again, as always, this video will apply to not just the Ghibli, but the, the Levante and the Quattroporti, as long as it has the twin turbo V6 engine in it. If you like these What's This For videos, please smash that like button because it will get me up in their ratings and it will make this video available to other viewers who might find this information useful. At the same time, please, if you know more about the vacuum system and the Maserati Ghibli, Levante, and Quattroporti, please feel free to comment below. So this is what I've learned by doing research on the vacuum system on the Maserati Ghibli, Levante, Quattroporti with the V6 twin turbo engine. And if there's others out there that know a lot more about this system or if I'm saying something wrong, then please feel free to comment below. Also, please consider subscribing. So let's get on with the video. I would be willing to bet there are those of you who have opened your hood, removed the ecstatic cover on top of your engine, and looked around. And you've wondered, what's this for? What's that for? You've looked at this and say, I wonder what this is for. What's this for? You've looked at there, what, what's this? Where does this go to? So, I'm going to explain that. I'm going to start here. This is the solenoid that controls vacuum going to the waste gates on the turbochargers. You'll see it tees off here. Each side goes to its respective turbocharger. This hard line here, there's a hard line that goes right by the, in front of the valve cover here. You'll see that. Um, that's for the that's vacuum line for the turbocharger. It goes all the way down. Same over here. You'll see one here. That is a hard line, hard light, hard vacuum line that goes down to the turbocharger. The reason they're hard is because it gets hot up there. And especially down by the exhaust for the, going to the turbocharger. It gets hot. So they're hard lines. This line here is, where, is from the vacuum pump, which is back here, mounted to the back of the, cylinder, uh, the valve cover. What it does is it pulls vacuum from here, and there's a plunger in here, this solenoid activated plunger, which activates the vacuum here for the turbocharger wastegates. And that's how your turbocharger wastegates are act activated or actuated. This tees off at a line that runs this way. This way goes back to the vacuum pump in the back of the vacuum valve cover. And then there's a T over here that goes also that goes back, runs back in the behind the engine and goes to the brake booster, so the brake booster, master cylinder booster, to provide boost for the brakes. When the, the line here continues down to the front of, down the front of the engine, and then goes over here, underneath the car, and underneath the car, underneath here, in this area down here, there's a vacuum tank. You'll see it when you pull the bottom cover off. There's a vacuum tank there. The line that goes to the vacuum tank from, from here, and then there's another line that goes from the vacuum tank back to the back of the car to, a, to another solenoid, which tees off and goes to your exhaust valves. I have disabled my valves, as you uh, probably know from uh, previous videos, but I've also capped those lines off. And I knew at that time when I did that, I know, I know what vacuum is. It sucks. So with those lines uncapped, it would suck dust, debris, water, rain, 
mist, it will suck it into the vacuum system. It'll make it, it could obstruct that uh, solenoid in the back of the car and it's, it's, it's mounted to the bottom of the car right there by the, the, different, the rear differential. You'll see it. If you get underneath the car and look underneath uh, between the rear differential and the bottom of the car, you'll see the solenoid mounted to the bottom of the car with vacuum lines on it. So contamination can get in that, val that uh, solenoid valve and cause it to fail. It could also continue up into the tank over here. That's in here. It could continue into the tank. If it goes into the tank, the tank will fail. It could also continue up into the vacuum pump, causing the vacuum pump to fail. It can also cause problems here. So um, that's why I kept mine all off, because I don't want contamination getting into my vacuum system. And if you've already disabled yours, I highly recommend you, you can buy um, um, plugs for vacuums line, vacuum lines and at any auto parts store and you, I would highly recommend you, you plug your lines to make sure that no dust and debris gets in there if you haven't done that already. Next is this. This is your fuel vapor recovery system. This isn't related to the actual vacuum uh, system that I just explained. This is a vacuum system in, all in its own because it's on the intake manifold. So what happens is vacuum is provided here. There's a check valve here for boost, I guess. I don't know. Um, but uh, the vacuum is provided here and it vacuums the vapors from the tank through here and burns those vapors into the in the engine. This is an emissions control thing here. This is what the EPA wants in all cars these days. One of these things. One thing I have not seen in this engine is an EGR valve. I don't I don't believe this engine has this car I don't believe these cars have EGR valves. So there you have it. In summary, this is the solenoid for the turbocharger wastegates. This is a fuel vapor recovery system here. That's a check valve. Um, from the last video, this is your air disserator for your uh, oil vapor recovery system. <laughs> PCV. Now, I hope you enjoyed this information. Well, I hope you found my short video interesting, informative, getting to know your car a little bit better. Those of you out there who are not more knowledgeable in the vacuum systems that I just explained, please, if I said something wrong, if I got it wrong, enlighten all of us in the comments below. I'd also like to mention one more thing. I'm fresh out of uh, viewer submitted photos of cars. If you would like your car some featured in an upcoming video, please see the description below. At the same time, I'd like to know if you had an issue with your car and you know you found what the solution was, please send that description of what happened to me. And if you have pictures, send it to my email address, which is in the description below. And please don't forget to smash that like button. That helps me out a lot when you do that. Leave some comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And now it's pedal time. Time to actually go put gas in her. Bye.